Hi guys, it's Kilo. Welcome back to my channel. I have a lot to say, so let's chat. Okay, so today I wanted to talk about some of my favorite products that I've been using in the month of January. I have been just trying to uh, have better skincare and you know just overall treat myself a little bit more I find it difficult to do that and now that I'm actually a mom I think that's gonna be something that's even more difficult to do but I am going to work on trying to do things for myself that is that I consider to be self-care because I don't want to get lost as a person just because I'm a mom now and I feel like if I take care of myself I will be able to take care of my daughter so with that being said let's jump into the video and talk about these seven products that I've really been enjoying some of them actually can roll over from December um, and January but I'm just gonna for the sake of this video I'm just gonna say my January favorites okay so first up are these uh, little perfume vials that I got from Royalty Scents. You may have seen them all over the internet at some point in time and I always wanted to get a subscription and to try out the perfumes that they have and I, so technically this isn't only a January thing but I'm still it's still a favorite of mine and I've been enjoying it. I have like a whole bunch of them that I have gotten over the past few months so I have it for me and my husband so I get one cent a month one for me and one for him and we've been doing this for about six months now but I've really been enjoying it and I wanted to show you guys my top three that I sense that I've enjoyed so far and so the first thing that I really enjoy is this um, Chanel number no. five. I actually already had a Chanel number no. five. Um, what do you call it? <laughs> Brain freeze. I already had a Chanel number no. five sample from when I bought my Chanel Chance perfume that I got uh, about a year or two ago. And so I knew that I liked it, but I wanted to try it out. I guess because I could compare it to the sample that I got from Chanel. Um, and so it definitely smells like the sample that I got from Chanel uh, for the number five. If anybody was wondering if they actually smell like the perfumes or not. Uh, the second one that I liked is the um, Yves Saint Laurent um, Libre. Uh, really like this smell. I don't think I would have ever gotten it if I wasn't a part of the subscription. And so that's one of the things that I like about the subscription is that you get to try scents that you wouldn't normally try, but then you also can try scents that you know you always hear people talk about and before you invest your money into it you can kind of try it out for like a month because this is about a month worth of spray in these bottles so you get to try it out for a month and see how you like it and see how it works with your body chemistry and all of that good stuff and so that's one thing that I really do like about having this subscription and then the third and final scent that I've really enjoyed is the Tom Ford White Suede. I do enjoy this scent and I have worn it once or twice. I don't really wear perfume a lot right now because I just had my baby. But when I do start wearing it, I would definitely reach for this on um, occasions that I think this would work with. I did want to say that there were a few scents that I did not enjoy that I was surprised about and I wanted to go ahead and mention. So for uh, Hermes, I did not enjoy this uh, Un Jardin sur la Toile. So I don't know, I thought you know, Hermes, I thought I would like it, but I I think this scent is maybe too natural for me. It's too earthy or whatever. I don't know. It's too, it smells too much like a garden, you know, so uh, it's not a bad scent. It's just like not my type of scent. So not a favorite. And then the same for this Guerlain, uh, Bloom of Rose, the Girl in Bloom of Rose, also the same. Um, I thought I would like it. You know, Rose, it's pretty. It, 
it looks pretty it must smell pretty and I mean it does but I think it's just a little I don't know actually now that I'm smelling it I actually think I might like it <laughs> so uh, we'll see I I'll have to try this one a little bit more um, I thought I didn't like it but I might have to change my mind on this yeah it actually smells really good so um, I'm gonna change my mind on it <laughs> but yeah uh, so like I said this is my one of my favorites I have ah, I have really been enjoying all of the scents that I get to try I love perfume and so this is a nice economical way where I can try multiple types of perfumes without breaking the bank okay so moving on to skincare um, one product that I really have been enjoying is this Kiehl's ultra facial cream um, just because I've been having really dry skin lately and um, a lot of the creams a lot of like the facial creams that I've been trying they've been a little too thin and then obviously you can go too thick but I think this is a great consistency for me and it has been working really well with my skin so like I said favorite product I really did purchase this in December but I didn't start using it until January um, so it's it's here I'm on my January faves another skincare product that I really like is this Lyra uh, face wash it's the enzyme cleanser I've been using it so much that it's all torn up you can't even really read it that well um, but if I find like a picture of it online I'll insert it so you guys can see what it looks like but um, this enzyme cleanser is really amazing and my skin has been doing so great since I started using this I was actually um, put on to using this from my esthetician that I started going to in the beginning of last year well we've been trying multiple products but this is one of the first things that she uh, recommended that I tried and I have been using this for almost a year this is the same bottle that I have been using since last year like February or March so it definitely lasts a little goes a long way this is definitely a January favorite of mine and I will be using this for the foreseeable future I have been using other products since obtaining this just because I wanted to see how they work in comparison to this particular cleanser um, so I have tried the Tasha uh, face wash I don't know exactly which kind but I've tried one from Tasha I've tried one from Fenty I've tried from a bunch of different places I think the only other face wash that I like just as much as this that you could find at like Sephora or um, Ulta is the Dermalogica I think that's how you say it, the Dermalogica face cleanser which I really do like so Whenever I run out of this, if I'm not able to get it in time, um, I'll probably just grab some of the Dermalogica face cleanser. I forget w exactly which particular one, but I will put it on the screen for you to see. So last up in skincare, facial care, um, I want to say that I have really dry lips that goes with my combination skin. And so um, I really wanted... A lip balm that I could wear overnight that could really moisturize my lips and help me not have like flaky <laughs> dry caked cracked lips every day especially now that it's winter and uh, this pharmacy lip smoothie is godsend I have tried almost anything and everything and this is the first product that I've really tried that worked for me and I was actually not happy about spending money for this just because I was like 20 bucks for some lip you know a lip serum or a lip smoothie whatever it that is but I've tried a like regular lip balms that just don't do anything for my lip and it always ends up being dry so 
I got this because I had a gift certificate that was just I was trying to use and so I added this to my cart and um, I'm so happy that I did if you have dry lips that you know you can't get to be moisturized definitely try this it's worth it for me because it actually works now if it didn't work then I'd be very upset but it works for me and so if you have dry lips it might work for you next up on the list is like a, a body wash and you guys have probably seen this all over the place but I'm just getting hip to the game and I'm just trying it out it's this native body wash um, this particular scent that I have is the lilac white tea lilac and white tea and I love this I love this body wash um, I love the scent it's it's a lot for a decent price I think um, normally I would use the Dr. Bronner's Castile soap but I've been using that for like three years and I just wanted to try something different and so that's how I ended up trying this native definitely saw a bunch of people <laughs> using it so I got swayed um, by others but I'm happy that I did because I really do enjoy it and it's one of my faves and so I'll be using that particular brand of body wash for the foreseeable future until I feel like I want to change it up and my final fave product for the month is hair care so I'm wearing my hair straight now I used to be natural but I'm no longer natural I don't relax my hair so I actually do the thermal reconditioning to straighten my hair and um, one of the biggest things about my hair is trying to keep it moisturized and so one product that really has been working to keep my hair moisturized is this Mazzani Moisture Fusion. I don't know I don't think you guys can see that but this has been a game changer when I treat my hair with this my hair is so soft it's so silky especially if I am going to like wear my hair out and use my flat iron or if I'm gonna put some clip-ins and I want my hair to like blend seamlessly with it this is my secret weapon for that I have been using this for about a year year maybe maybe not quite a year but almost and so happy that I have this there's also another treatment that I use from this brand and it's the it's uh, not for moisture it's for strengthening your hair uh, and I like that just as much but not quite as much as this and that's why this particular treatment <laughs> is in this video um and yeah i mean there's not much to say about that right okay guys that's it for my list of faves for january i am thinking about doing this maybe every quarter or every month i the only thing about doing it every month is i don't want to feel pressured to purchase things just so i have a video for you guys so it might be like a quarterly thing where I give an update on my faves for that particular month. Um, things that not necessarily that I bought for that month, but I've been using and it is a fave for that month. So let me know what you guys think if you would be interested in me continuing to do that. And um, thank you guys so much for the support that I got on my last video. I know it's been a year since I have been uploading and if you have not uh, seen my last video, then please go ahead and check it out. Um, if you don't know, I did have a baby over the past year. And so if you want to find out the story of how I found out I was pregnant, then go ahead and check that out. And if you have any other videos that you want to see from me, uh, please go ahead and put them in the comment section or whatever hit me up <laughs> on my socials which are also in the description box below um that's it for this video guys thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you in the next video bye